Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I thought I would do a video on my phone. So here's my one cat, Middens, and my other cat, some of you know, Jinxie. So I'll just ramble for a couple of minutes and then that'll be your entertainment for today. Uh, one thing I wanted to say, uh, this Beatles poster, I was looking at it, or, you know, I looked up and, oh, it's Abbey Road. The one thing that almost stopped me from actually buying that poster was, guess what, it, guess what the run reason that I don't like about that poster? That's right. Having the Beatles logo on the corner, it's like, we know it's the Beatles, the greatest band of all time. You don't need to just the album cover. The album cover doesn't have the Beatles on the, on the cover. So you don't need it on the poster. Don't get me mad. What else? I'm going to talk about the Beatles Abbey Road for a second. But also, as you can see, I've shaved. I did a Phil and Gus video. They're going to talk about their year of 2020. That should be coming up soon. And it's already available for members. So if you want to be a member and see it today, become a member. And I also uh, uploaded the latest Lou Reed ranking and review, this time for Rock and Roll Heart. So just go to my front, the easiest way uh, to see my latest videos is just go to my front channel and scroll through. you know my my latest video is always at the at the very top unless you're not subscribed to me then it's one of my older videos trying to get subscribers begging them please please subscribe uh what else yeah so i've got a lot of videos planned for this week week of holidays and i'm going to do a live chat or two this week. I just don't know what time or day, but it's going to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. But like I said, I'm going to try and do two of them. So stay tuned for that. And I also have a actually, act, try and say this properly. I have a more serious video that I want to do. I've been thinking about it. It's to do with money and credit cards and everything. And it'd be a good video, I think, for younger people, especially, and older people like me. <laughs> but it's going to be, like, a, like I said, a serious video. So I'd like to end this with a few words about the Beatles' White Elf. And I might even do a, a separate video on this, too. But I thought, do it now, because I'm all, all excited. So... As some of you know, I've been watching Andy and Alex on their Patreon, and lately they've been, they've listened to all of Revolver and all of Abbey Road and all of Sgt. Pepper, and they loved all three albums. They st still have not heard the White Album. And what I love about Patreon is you can listen along with them, and you, you hear the, the whole album. Uh, but I'm looking forward to them finally listening to this. I played the White Album a couple of nights ago, and this is the uh, 2009 remaster, of course, and it sounds so good. Uh, I love the, the, the new mix, of course, but this is still sounding great. And seriously, I, I always say that Abbey Road is my all-time favorite album, and the one reason I don't say it's Abbey Road is because it's not fair to Abbey Road being a single album and this being a double. There's there's 30 more songs, or 29 songs, if you don't count Revolution Number no. 9 as a song, but I do. <laughs> but this is truly just like everything in the kitchen sink on two albums. And the way the Beatles grew, as most of you Beatles fans know already. I'm just repeating it. They were just the best. And I never, ever, ever get tired of hearing, you know, Abbey Road or Sgt. Pepper or the White Album. It, it sounds fresh to me every, every time. And 
you know, sometimes you're listening to a song and you focus on the Ringo's amazing drums, drumming, or a, a guitar or something in the background. It's just always just, you know, just the best thing to listen to. And this is one of the greatest albums of all time, if not the greatest. Back in the USSR, what a great opening track. Dear Prudence, which is just superb, you know. But I, I do not dislike a single song, even uh, one that would be on my ranking, at, you know, the lowest ranked on this album, like uh, Don't Pass Me By. You know, listening to it a couple of nights ago, I really enjoyed it. I mean, I, I still love the song. It's just my least, one of my least favorites on this album, but it's still great. Uh, and even, I, I realize some Beatles fans don't like Wild Honey Pie and Why Don't We Do It in the Road. I love those more experimental, wacky songs. They're fun. And Paul's vocals, especially on Why Don't We Do It in the Road, are just... Just the best. What an amazing singer. I thought I was good. <laughs> so that's it. Just my little ramble for tonight. And I also have a... I, I posted on my community just a couple of days ago if if you like Canadian stud muffin music or not. And I was surprised that overall it was like 60% of you like it. <laughs> but I think 25% said don't don't sing. <laughs> Because <laughs> that was one of the choices, and 25% don't sing. Anyway, I did do another video that's going to be coming up, and it's an instrumental called, uh, originally called Laugh At You. And I've incorporated real 70s from this uh, 70s dance show that was in Toronto that I found on YouTube. And I reversed it, and I added this music that I created with music loops. And I love it. I know, I realize not everybody will, but I hope you do check it out. You know, I, I enjoy doing some stranger videos once in a while on this channel, not just your typical rock music vlogs. So that's about it. Thank you for listening to me, if there's anybody there still. <laughs> Have a great evening. Bye.